Hey, Pete. Yeah, I took your kids last night to see that new Gardens in the Galaxy movie. Oh, what do you mean you don't know Gardens in a Galaxy? It's one with, uh, with, with Chris Bratz in it. And, and a tree, and a raccoon, the blue guy, the gray guy, the green girl. Yeah, there's a purple villain, a, a blue villain, like Roy G. Biv. I think Avatar's in there somewhere, is it? What, Dave? What do you mean, what am I screaming about? The Garden with the Galaxy movie. Why don't you just get your paper and get back in the house? Oh, uh, you know, Vin Diesel plays the talking tree. Oh yeah, that's him in that makeup. I, I can't even imagine how long it took to put that on. Probably ten times longer than it done to, to, with Freddy Krueger's. Yeah, but all he ever says is, I am Groot. Whole movie, it's I am Groot. You listen closely, you can you can hear the trees in Tom's yard saying, I am Jag. No, it's Vin Diesel from, from Faster Than Furious. Oh, did you see that new one? Well, I'll tell you what, I've heard whispers. Oscar whispers. Just when I think they can't get any faster and any more furious, they go ahead and do it. That series ain't gonna end until they're going light speed and they're pissed. The last one's just gonna be them sitting in a rocket going, ah! What, Dave? No, I'm talking about the Fast and the Furrier. Don't you watch nothing? Yeah, well, the only thing I ever hear coming out of your house is the Jeopardy theme and 60 minutes. Tick, 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 tick. That's it. Then Jessica says, don't you just love his soundtrack? Well, it's all old stuff. I says, no, you want a good soundtrack, you go Forrest Gump, Dirty Dancing, or Space Jam. Well, I knew this movie was going to be good because it had tango and cash. I'll tell you, that's the fastest way to improve any movie. Sprinkle it with a little tango and or cash. Maybe I'd have stayed awake for that Abraham Lincoln movie if it was if it was Lincoln and cash. Or, or tango and Lincoln. Or, or, or tango and cash. Just get rid of Lincoln. You find out that back in the 80s, Kurt Russell got Chris Pratt's mom pregnant behind a Dairy Queen. <laughs> I don't even think I was part of the movie. Back in the 80s, Celebrities could get with any woman, anywhere. It's like playing Clue. Kurt Russell in a Trans Am behind a Dairy Queen. Rob Lowe in a Ford Tempo at Pizza Hut's. John Stamos in a motorcycle sidecar in a parking lot of Woolworths. Have mercy. Every married couple has that one celebrity that if they saw, they'd be allowed to make out with. Both Deb's and mine, Kurt Russell and Overboard. I even take big troubles down in Little China, Kurt Russell. Stargate, Kurt Russell. What? No, Dave, nobody wants Stargate Kurt Russell, you nuts. I'd have even accepted the thing Kurt Russell over Stargate Kurt Russell. Give me Miracle. I'll take Miracle. So the raccoon steals some batteries. Then he gets chased by C-3PO's family. Then Kurt Russell takes everybody to this weird place with all these flyers and porches. Italy? I don't know. Then you find out this whole planet is Kurt Russell. Yeah, all, all South America is just his face. I says, you better make room, because after global warming, we're all going to be living on Kurt Russell. And then, since it's a Marvel movie, you got to sit through the end credits, watch 17 more scenes that nobody understands. How's come everybody's doing this with the credit scenes? At the end of Hunt for Red October's, we just left. You know, we weren't sticking around, waiting to see scenes from Crimson Tide. If I'm sticking around for the end credits, there better be a public service announcement, or, or a sit, ubu, sit, wolf, good dog. Now, do you remember when movies didn't need a sequel because they could just stand on their own? Over the Top didn't need no sequel because the first one was just that good. And plus, once you go over the top, there ain't, there ain't really nowhere else for you to go. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog.